So look, so all I'm missing is this little, like, this little shaving across, like a, like a chamfered corner. Friends, th th this is, look at this. This is how I stack my firewood. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's looking wonderful, this thing. It's doing, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. See, leave a space in there for the, so you don't smash up your cargo light and all that. She took it really well. afternoon. It's actually morning. Sixty four. Sixty four inches. Actually, sixty five if I want to go bark off, which. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's go right there. That's still nice and sound because it was underneath the eaves. Not so much the other side and not so much the base. It's rotten out. What did I say? 65? So if I go up a little higher, that'll allow me to lift this up, get rid of this, or leave it, which I could add another one of those 4x4s in there if I do this right. I will. Welcome to Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel. I'll be back in a flash. We're going to get this thing squared away. Okay, friends, we're going to use our little jack that I made with the welder the other day. I just want to get this up a little bit and see if this will this will get us there. I, I think it will. Yeah, I, I think this will. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're popping right out of there. So, do, do you guys see what I did there? I did a notch, right? Look at this thing. I... I Look at, look at, <laughs> this thing's deadly. But you gotta be careful with these, they'll knock your knees right out of you. But that's solid right there. Right solid. Okay, good. So here's how we built this shed, friends. Years ago, people asked me how I built it. It was very, very simple. See this haywire system? See this thing I made for ax handles? I don't know how good it's gonna work for ax handles. I think it'll bend the ax handle before it pushes the wedge, but it was a concept. We'll see, I'm still yet to try it. But here, here's the deal, see, we just made a notch. See that, I notched with a power saw. Everything I do is with a power saw and a hammer nails. And no nails actually, on this one, it's a notch. So those are all notched, so is this one, but this one's really bad, friends. See, it's super bad, it's calfing at the bottom, it's rotting out at the bottom and the top. And the reason that is, is I've got no overhang here. So all I'm gonna do is come in, I'm gonna put a cinder block right there. I'm gonna come up, jack up that, get under it with a, with a four by four to at least get some, you know, you don't wanna be in there getting firewood and then all of a sudden, babango, right? Down she comes on you. So I was thinking of, of getting myself a little bit of height. That's gotta be 65. It was a little bit of an angle. So I just, it actually slipped right in there. I couldn't believe it. So it's flush now. So if I go boom, boom. That. I'm just notching so it sinks into the wood a little bit and has a place to sit. So I'm pretty tickled with that actually. Maybe we could, there. new platform there beside the old rotten one I've got my notch in here let's see if we can't maybe get that to to drop right in there what do you guys think of this
I like it. I really like it. Oh yeah. That's that's deadly. Okay, that's my that's my style. That that's old Buck and Billy Ray right on the Mun Muns. Look at that. Hey? Because you can't have it slipping out, right? So you gotta have it at least sit in. And that is actually solid. Look at that, friends. It is 100 percent on there. And the reason I know that is this. <laughs> so I dug out underneath it. So now we gotta do this side. This is it right here. Pressure treated lumber too. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Let's get this side done. Look at that, we're there. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can, can't you? That should have it. Yes, indeed it does. Bring the money. Okay, about as high as I need to go. You can see the notch, eh, friends? Excuse me. This lasted like, I can't, uh, 10 years at least. See? Just just a straight up old notch. Power saw show. That's, that's what we did. These things are, these are done. So I actually think that I'm gonna measure a little bit higher this time, make another notch with the power saw like I done there, I'll, I'll mark it out first and then do it. Drop that maybe to that notch. So are we at, you know what? I'm just going 65, that, that's what I'm doing. There we go. Good. Oh, I like this. Oh yeah, look at friends, it's not even, that's just gonna sit there and rot now with that. See? It's good, I like it. It's a woodshed for crying out loud. Look at that. <laughs> okay, that's our fix. <laughs> now I can feel safe with my wife in there getting digging firewood out of there. See that? I could put a gusset in here, right there. Boom, boom, and that would that would help out too. I could do that. Okay, that's it. A Buck and Billy Ray special right there.
That's what I like about this thing. It's not that heavy, friends. You know what I mean? It's not. You can actually carry it like this. Watch. Look at that. You just balance it on the fulcrum, or fulcrum, so to speak, and it's done. This thing's actually come in handy already a couple times, and not for axes. Isn't that funny? <laughs> what a great little thing. <laughs> You guys want to see how Jonesy's axe does, friends? Check this thing out. Do you guys remember this little axe? Remember this guy? Red oak handle. Look at the look at the profile on it. Nuts. So I got this. I got this game here. This thing. Needed it to be a little smaller. Should we try it again, friends? Should we should we try and actually bust that in half with Jonesy's axe? That is a knot, friends, right there. That is that is a knot. Look at this. Wow. We got it. That is a split knack, friends. Look at this. Look at that. Handled this wood once, twice, three times already. Like, I don't care. In production, it's a different scenario, but when I'm doing my own firewood, friends, like I, I, I'll stack it in the truck, as you saw, I stack it in. The reason I stack it in is because I want to get a maximum load and I want it to test uh, Sylvia out. See, it's not even on the overload, okay? There's the big, huge, fat one. One. See the great big one down there? It, you should be able to see it. It's, it's a fat one. Where is it? Right there. See that guy? It's like this huge fat thing. So uh, we've got like a row and a bit off and it's going right there. So I don't, I don't care really. I'll handle it a few times. Yeah, if you're dealing with firewood to heat your home, you're going to deal with touching your firewood more than a couple times. Me, what I'm doing this year, we got a bit more to burn. So I decided to build myself the old crisscross at the end. And I'm gonna, this year I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna build my firewood on the sides. Boom, boom, and I'm gonna have a lane go right down the middle so that I could literally have, I could have uh, wet wood to right there and right there and still go back for season stuff. stuff. I like this idea. So there's, there's little tricks. See, this is all gonna be, this is seasoned, right? 
this is all pretty much ready but this is the for next year this is going to be like it's going to sit through a whole nother hot hot summer and it's going to be deadly this year we did we had some arbutus and fir we're not out of the out of the we're nowhere near out of the out of the cold yet there's february march and april yet we burn in april too there's a couple months left so we got that another month that'll get us it so we're 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 loving it and then we got this fresh green stuff here but um there's kind of a little bit of an art to, to, to stack and firewood friends um, that'll withstand little tremors and and winds and movement and just the earth moving it does I, I've seen wood piles just all of a sudden say I'm I'm falling down uh, you know it's 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 weird I've seen it and uh, anyway th this this is all really looking good here it's again it's see it's let's see if you can see this it, it's separate yeah it's not leaning up against anything this stuff isn't leaning see how these lean in see it, do you see what i'm saying see this here friends like you don't want to be leaning against this thing this is leaning in believe it or not off your thing right you see how how this is here see this stack straight up it's coming straight up and then this is in that straight up straight up straight up not like wedged down in and leaning against see do you know what i'm saying by that friends how you how you stack like that so we still got two rows in there um and we can still get at our our beautiful dry season our beautus and fur it's beautiful we got like three rows here this is going to get us real close to where we need to be at the end of the season. Oh, two rows left and a little bit there. I'll kick it off. Myrtle sure did uh, did a good job all them years getting that firewood. Now you got you got Sylvia here helping out, which is wonderful, and she does a great great job too. I'm gonna probably beef up the leaf springs just because it's kind of guy I am. Now you can you can wreck these trucks, friends. You you can you can wreck them. You can wreck any truck. You know where it is. Now that's that's why I worked with my tailgate shut the whole time, friends, because it's splaying out on the truck. I stacked one row back in the bush when I was in the bush. I think I stacked no, I stacked two rows. Pardon me, two or three actually. And then I thought, well, I better check the sides. And sure enough, sure enough, I had to just just grab this and just pop it in. Now check this out. See that? Look. See? There you go. Look at. There. It's, it's exactly the same. See, look. See, it's hitting there. Now, let's see. Yeah, indeed it is. This side is solid. It's not this side, actually. It's actually this side. Watch, friends. Watch. See? Did you see what just happened? I just pushed it in. Look. So, if you... if you I've done it. Years ago, I did it. I would, I would stack my freaking wood back and I'd go to shut my gate my freaking gate was like this so these old trucks especially these trucks so what it is friends what it is is there's a a, a fix that a lot of guys do that that I've seen that that I'm gonna do and it's right here you can actually see it it's broken Yeah, it, it flexes, you can see it. And, and I'm not going to flex it any more than it already is. You can actually see it's broken. I'm going to get, I'm actually going to gusset it. I am. I'm going to make a weld. I'm probably going to get a piece of flat bar, weld it up against here, and, and weld it against here, and put a small little gusset right in there. What's, you may as well keep it strong, right? So that's the deal with that. So anyways, we've almost got the whole thing unloaded. It's wonderful. I'm just going to throw the rest right there on the ground, friends, just here, and, and stack it later. I'm starving. I'm going in for supper, and it's getting a little chilly. So I'm just going to throw this last load right there on the ground, and uh, we're going to call it. We's going to call it. Friends, good morning to everybody. It's Sunday. We're going live like we usually do. But I want to just take two seconds here, and I want to thank everybody. Just simply, I just want to thank everybody for and jared you know you sent me that that still thank you but everybody that's new that's coming here recently we're getting new subscribers and 
I just want to thank everybody, just plain and simple. And if you're new here, welcome to you. True Blues, I love you all dearly. Let's work on being super kind to one another this year, friends. She done good. There we go. So I just loosened up the high boy here and she did good. She did real good actually. She didn't pack a, a load like that thing does, but she did good. I'll probably beef up the leaves a little bit, but I didn't have, like that's all seasoned from, you know, last year so we'll burn that but I didn't really have a spot for it yet so I, I started going this way you see so it's the first time I've ever done this in the shed I'll go that way and that way and then I'll make we'll, we'll put the rest of this here in, in same idea this way and then I'll, I'll leave a space in the middle I'll be able to walk right down to the bottom of the shed and pick whatever I want kind of species I've seen guys do that that way it's okay you got to be careful and do it right or you know, you got to get your crisscrosses right. You know, you can always put little like that. I just put there to so it keeps the shed standing up. It was rotten. Same with this one. We did this today. <laughs> Look at this thing. Wasn't even freaking. Anyway, I've had a good day just piddling around. Just stuff that's got to get done, you know. Then you son. Hey, friends, I want to show everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, how we measure for firewood. How much firewood you can get in a pickup. It's very simple. It's cubic feet. It has nothing to do with uh, old wives' tails or anything. There's a pickup truck. This tr this pickup truck is eight feet. So inside to outside is eight feet. So because I can just hook on the outside, it'll give me eight foot two. So there you go. So it's eight foot two. There's two inches up there. There's eight feet. So let's do that. Eight feet. Now to the cab. This is where I had that firewood yesterday. Let's go three, um, there's, okay, so three foot, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three and a half feet is, is what's the word, uh, conservative. Five and a half would probably be, be fair, but let's go 5.5, okay? So do, take these measurements for me, five. You could really just go five and a half, friends, just to make things easier, but if you wanna get technical, Go 5.5 times 8 times 3.5, right? And a cord. So let's go to the Merc. Foot. It's 9 foot. That's crazy. 9. So we got 9. Inside to inside is much less. Hi, Dad. Hi, how are you, kid? Good. Good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not even 5 feet, friends. You see what I mean? It's like, it's... Uh, it's four foot, four and a half feet. It's four and a half. So nine times four and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times three and a half. Three and a half times nine times four and a half. I'm gonna measure that and that'll tell you your cubic feet. Friends, me again. You know, the culture of YouTube is, it seems, is to, to, instead of just watching a video, watching people do things, it's so cool, there seems to be a culture of, uh, you know, oh, that's not how I would do it, to, you know, this might be a better way to do it. I think what people are missing, friends, sometimes, um, well, a lot of the time, to be honest, is the fact that People are actually just creatures of habit, just living their lives and sharing it with you. And uh, you know what I mean? It's They're probably quite enjoying themselves because I know I do. Firewood for me is a ritual and has been for many, many years. It used to be a chore, but now it's all I want to do.
That's it. It's the only thing I want to do is firewood and become intimate with my wood pile. Seems to me everybody is worried about nothing. Seems to me everybody is worried about what they don't know. Green, green, dry. Dry, all out. Jonesy, your little axe is such a pleasure to use now. Yeah, that little guy. I uh, chamfered up the uh, palm swell. It's good. Real good, actually. Okay. What's next? <laughs> It's a, well, it's not, it's not a goofy file. It's not the ones I'm used to. This is what it is. You ever seen one of them?